Hello, this is Robert Smith welcoming you to the February 2009 Enemy compilation CD of Cure cover versions with a short ramble on the subject. When I started out with The Cure, a long, long time ago in a world far, far away, we understandably didn't have that many songs of our own. And so, much the same, I suspect, as many other new bands, we'd very often end our rehearsals playing other people's stuff. We listened to and tried learning an eclectic selection of 50s, 60s and 70s pop, rock, psychedelia, rockabilly, reggae and, of course, punk favourites, and banging our way through them was always a lot of fun. It was also, I discovered very quickly, instructive, as in taking a song apart in order to figure out who played what, where and when, I couldn't help but think about how and why it had been put together in the way it had. With every deconstruction, I understood a bit more about writing, tone, tempo, rhyme, about performance, dynamics, rhythm, feel, and maybe most importantly, about how these ingredients combined in my favourite songs. Since those early days, I've been involved in quite a few more serious attempts at cover versions, trying songs by The Beatles, Bowie, Hendrix, Thin Lizzy, Alex Harvey, The Doors, Depeche Mode, to name just a few, (laughs) and with every attempt I've understood a bit more. Basically, I think you need to answer the following three questions with an honest yes if you want to give yourself a good chance of ending up with a successful cover. The first question to answer Am I inspired? Now, it may seem blindingly obvious, but it's worth saying this anyway. You have to be inspired by the original song, as if it doesn't move you, it's pretty unlikely your cover will. The second question to answer, is my method good? You have to figure out how to make the song yours. You might choose to pull it apart and learn it, then put it back together and play it just like the record. Or you might choose to pull it apart and not learn it or put it back together, but simply take a single element you really love and create a piece of music with little or no resemblance to the original. I don't think there's a right way or a wrong way to cover a song. There's only a your way. And there are examples on this CD of both extremes of method, as well as pretty much everything in between. The third and perhaps most important question to answer, does it work? You shouldn't worry about whether your version is as good as, or maybe even better than, the original, as this misses the point completely. The cover isn't made to replace the original, so any comparison is futile. You you only know if it works in the same way as you know any song or piece of music works. You listen to it, and if you want to hear it again, then it works. So, ears at the ready, let's turn it up, and let's go. Go!